Welcome to the homestead. Well, we've been gone for about four days and as you can see, that clover has gotten a lot taller and it is all over the yard. We're gonna have to take care of that this weekend. So we had a really nice time with the grandkids during spring break. We took them to the beach and grandson was surfing and granddaughter was bodyboarding as well as laying in the sun. And uh, it was really a nice time. We came back and we've got rain and cool weather, which is not so fun. So it's hindered some of the things we were going to do. But one of the things I thought about doing <clears throat> is taking this book that I have, which is upside down. <laughs> This book is Common, Edible, and Medicinal Plants of Texas. So, I thought I would try to identify some of these things that are growing like crazy because if they're edible or municipal, it would be good to know about them. I also have an app on my phone that I can take a picture of it to identify it for me because looking in a book, it's really hard to discern. Once I find the name of the plant, if it's true, I can look it up in this book and find out if it's good or bad. It only shows me the flower, it doesn't show me the leaf. It says it's a ball clover. That's not listed here. I've got to learn what we have all around us because some of the things we have around us may just be things that um, we could use. If, for example, um, the pharmacy doesn't have prescriptions. You know, we ran out of antibiotics about, uh, was it last year? Because they weren't coming in because of the supply chain or whatever. And there was a lot of children who did not get um, the antibiotics they needed at the time they needed it. So it would be good to know if we have stuff right here under our nose that, that can help us in times of trouble, just like when they ran out of the antibiotics. Anyhow, I thought that'd be a little bit fun, kind of just go and see if we can find things. You know that thing I keep saying that looks like lettuce? I want to know what that is, and we do have some here that is growing, because if that is a form of lettuce, that would be good to know. This looks like a common weed. Let's see what it says. It's scanning. They say this is a buttercup. I don't know if you can see that. Now let's see what the book says. Okay, it's not in my book. So it's not edible. If it doesn't show up in the book, it's not edible, it's not municipal. Okay, that app didn't work. <laughs> it wants me to pay money now before identifying that plant, so it'll let me identify three. <coughs> it said limit it. And uh, now they want me to pay money. Not going to do that. Going to delete the app off my phone and try a different one. <laughs> this may take a long time to do this. I may have to just go and mow. Okay, let's see if this one does it before it makes me pay money as well. I dropped my phone. <laughs> this says it's a Lamia Sia. Um, and then some other words they can't read. But Let's see if that's in here. That's not in here either. Guess we don't want to eat that one either. All right, let's try another one before this app tells me I can't do it. Okay, it's still working on it. Guess it doesn't recognize it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. By the way, I'm standing on the back side of the mound and every one of my little butterflies are buried underneath those weeds. Well, it did give me a name. This one didn't say ball clover. This picture looks real similar to what, what I'm seeing here. What it does is that it gives you your picture and it matches it up with a bunch of pictures and then you're supposed to pick which picture looks close to what you've got going on. One of the problems is these apps are giving me official names and uh, and my book gives me um, the, the just clover and then it gives me official names after the fact um, when you find it so um, yep 
various species all year round and this is the one that was good for the menopause and um, which that might be good I could always try it and and also chronic skin disease I don't have skin disease but if I did that'd be good to know since I have it all over the place um, there is danger though it says that white clover must be dried for four to six weeks to avoid cyanide poisoning well there you go anything pretty they told us when we came here they said if there's anything pretty that you like avoid it because it's poisonous or it'll hurt you so this clover will hurt us it's full of cyanide unless we dry it for four to six weeks which I could very well do but uh, I'm thinking unless I'm seriously 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 desperate I'm avoiding white clover anyhow that's been kind of a waste of a, a few hours there of looking at plants so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start working so join me would you okay well I've decided to mow I'll start on this section and uh, just go back and forth and then um, usually I kind of go around in circles but I'm going to try to go back and forth this time I have to avoid the flags that are in the ground because those are tree stumps that are down there and uh, then I will move to a new section we'll just get this clean I'm not going to clean off the mound because all of that stuff growing on top is going to help it keep cooler or warmer or whatever inside the storm shelter and um, then the food um, what do they call that the cellar root cellar the root cellar I've got my potatoes growing and if all goes well um, we'll have potatoes in that root cellar so that'll be kind of fun anyhow I'm gonna get to the mowing Okay, that took care of that. Had to go over some of the areas a couple of times because uh, the grass is wet and so some of the longer grass just kind of folded and didn't cut. And so obviously we have to weed eat around the tree and the stumps and uh, areas you didn't see me do but I did do was over this away and there's a lot of weed eating that needs to be done around the RV. I'm gonna move the camera and then I'm gonna get this one little section right here which you won't see and then I'm going to move over to that section, which you will see. And hopefully I won't go all crazy because I'm trying to get a pattern gone so I stay within the camera range because uh, the, a lot of times, like when I go around the building and I come back out, I have to do a lot of splicing in the videos so you don't, you know, I don't disappear for long periods of time. So I need to kind of do a back and forth thing or at least a tight circle thing within the parameters of the camera or... Um, it's a lot of editing for me. Um, anyhow, um, 
let's move over and do some more mowing. That's, that's this section. I'm gonna head off now that direction. And I don't know if you could see this corner where I went forward and stopped short. It's because the electrical line runs from the electrical box over there behind these cottages all the way to the RV. And so we don't want to run over that electrical line. And also there's electrical line that goes along this fence. So I watched it very closely because we don't want to cross that electrical line. Um, that we will do with the weed eater. And so we just need to get close, but not too close because we don't want to take any chance. I don't know if you remember a lot of videos ago last, um, last year, I was mowing the lawn and I just got too close to the tarp and I sucked it up inside. I didn't even think I was that close. So we want to stay away from those electrical lines because clearly we can't judge distance. Not if I'm chewing up uh, tarps. Anyhow, um, a lot of clumps where the grass is sticking to the tires and then dropping off and so kind of got a clumped up area. Especially right over here where I went tight around the stump uh, it really knocked off a lot so there's like a bunch of dead matted grass right there anyway that is what it is can't be perfect out in the country and I have to keep reminding myself this is not city life you do not need a perfect yard <laughs> so anyhow it's looking really great and uh, we're gonna be much happier we'll have to get in the tight areas like I say with the weed eater and um, the other lawnmower because I uh, can't get up too close to the uh, fencing area and we're gonna have to get back in the fencing area um, because it's time to weed eat again in there because the grass is like super long and that's not good for these animals I did willy bird uh, bug stuff that could kill ticks so hopefully we won't get any ticks on these little critters um, we got Baxter over here in his little bed with uh, Eclipse and um, I have no idea where Freddy is. He probably went back inside. Freddy's doing really good outside in the pen. He's only escaped a few times and he mostly doesn't try to escape. He, he just likes to lay in here. So he probably went inside since I was mowing. He, he's kind of a skittish cat because he's not used to outdoor life. Anyhow, let's keep mowing.
Well, that's that section. Now we're going to move over to that corner over there and get uh, around those cottages. And then uh, this section will be done except for the weed eating and the hand mowing. Let's move on to the next section. Sounds like somebody's calling for help. Lee took off to go see. Could be a cow just screaming, but it sounds like help. And it's in intervals. So Lee's gonna go see if there's something wrong out there at our neighbor's property. Okay, it stopped. Lee thinks it was a calf. Sound like help to me. But uh, there's a lot of people over there. I saw him take a walk down the road. So I'm sure if it was help, somebody over there helped. Anyhow, let's get to mowing. And just like that, it started raining right when it was supposed to. The camera died, so unfortunately you didn't get to see me do around Lee's shop to make that pathway. I did that really quick. I saw the camera died, but I knew it was going to rain. I heard the thunder. So I just quickly did that and then headed out. And huge drops. It was a huge downpour. It's been just a few minutes, and now it's not. It's settling down. Just a few sprinkles going on now. So I don't know if it's if it's going to pass quickly or what. But yard work is done because there's no way with this much rain that fell just the, in the 10 minute time that I'm going to get be able to do it again. It was already getting kind of cakey out there in the thick grass. So it looks like the garden area is going to have to wait till another day. But it wasn't as bad as the rest of it. For right now, it looks really good. And so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time on the homestead. Bye-bye now.